So today's video, as you can see in front of me, is going to be the summer book challenge. Now you probably won't see it, and I know it's going to be an interesting angle. So I will stand back. But I thought I would do like round two of like the summer book challenge that I did last year. Because... I had a lot of fun doing it last year, like it was nice to have a book challenge, so I'm going to try and pop you down so I can talk you through all of the books. Try and find something to prop you on. Great angles with me. This is just gonna have to do. Like, I don't know how many books there are all together, but that's just an overview of all of the books. I will just. Some are from last year's book challenge, but I will link the book challenge video that I did last year down below. So, we're gonna start with the first book. This is um, Charles Dickens' A Life biography. This was in last year's book challenge. I didn't get around to reading it. Some I have read this year that were in the book challenge, but some I haven't. And last year in the book challenge, I read another Charles Dickens biography book. I will get what book and show you, but also I will do a book tour. But this was the book I read last year. The Mystery of Charles Dickens, so that's books that we are going to be reading. Next is another one that was in last year's book challenge. This is one, two, three, four. The Sunday Times bestseller, The Beatles in Time. This is such a big book. And this was in last year's, I didn't get around to reading it. This next one was in the 2021 book prize. This one I got a while, but I put it in the book challenge. No one is talking about this by Patrick Lockwood. This is a story about a life lived in two halves. It's about what happens when real life Colders with the increasing absurdity of the world accessing access through a screen. It's about living in a world that contains both an absence of proof that there is a goodness, empathy, justice in the universe and a deluge of evidence to the con contrary. It's a uh, on love, language and human connections from one of the most original voices of time. This book I saw Molly Thompson in her channel was called Beauty Spectrum talk about this in like the first weekly vlog of 2022 I'm pretty sure. Find what video she talked about it and I will link it down below so that you can find out bit more about this but I love it it really it's a book that just screamed me this next one I wanted to read the railway children I borrowed a copy to read and I really enjoyed reading it so I wanted to read it again and have my own copy moving on to Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities. This was quite a spontaneous pickup. Like, I went to go swap a book and just pick this up. Wasn't going to get it. Was going to put it in maybe another book challenge or just read it in general. But that was another one. This is one I really want to read. This was one that was in last year's book challenge. This was A Weekend in New York. 
by Benjamin Markowitz. Paul is a mid-ranking tennis professional on the ATP tour. His girlfriend Dinah is an ex-model and photographer and together with their two-year-old son they form Tabula and Contented of the contented upper middle class New York family. Paul's parents and siblings have come to stay in a built up to see the to the US Open and with summer storms bring several generations of domestic tensions are brought to boiling point. I really like the cover of this. I'd actually really like to get in New York one day. The next one that was in last year's book challenge, Tony Granite, the music that the day the music died. I was quite interested in the pictures. Also, I just love music. Music's my thing. I really want to read these two. So the first book I'm going to read is Charles Dickens' A Life book, so hope you've enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for summer content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye.